Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the OA visa, and we're specifically discussing a situation that I think may come up here pretty quickly for folks who have an OA visa. That's basically those who are coming to Thailand for retiree status. And basically, we're talking about a situation that's going to come up specifically with the deadline looming for the implementation of new rules regarding this on October 31st, 2019. So the thing to take away from this video, first of all, we're not talking about extension status. Let me be clear. I've done other videos where in one sense, I do not make necessarily a distinction between an OA and an extension. I am in this video specifically talking about OA visas issued in the United States and, well, I shouldn't say in the United States, excuse me, abroad, outside of Thailand. Uh, someone sent me an email from the United States specifically on this issue and I decided to go ahead and make a video because I think it could be useful for those who are in this same predicament. And that predicament is your OA visa has been issued prior to October 31, but you as an individual are not coming to Thailand until after October 31. What happens? Because the effective date of the new regulations with respect to insurance come into effect October 31. I got an email on this specifically. I want to go ahead and read it. I'm going to leave out names, but I'm presuming the person that sent me this email will go ahead and sort of know who they are. Quoting directly, the new requirement for medical insurance go into effect October 31st, 2019. I just received my OA visa from the Royal Thai Embassy in Washington, D.C., dated October the date 2019. My question is, since my visa is dated before October 31st, 2019, am I required to have medical insurance in effect for one year in order to enter Thailand on a date, well, I'm not quoting directly, but I'm going to go ahead and say on a date later than October 31st. By the way, I find your videos very informative. Thank you for that. So, good question. And it's, it's a really pertinent question, albeit one that won't be pertinent at all in six months, but it is a really pertinent question for right now. And so for those of you who are getting your OA visas right about now, let me go ahead and preface everything else I'm going to say with this. Probably a good idea if you can, and it may not be possible, if you get your OA visa issued before the 31st of October, try and get into Thailand before the 31st of October. You'll get your first one-year status stamp at that point. You'll get your one-year stamp. And from there, you're pretty well okay. But there are going to be folks like the person in this, in this uh, who sent me this email who are not going to be able to do that. So I'm going to try to provide as much clarity as I can. Understand that clarity in this situation is not exactly forthcoming. Uh, we've gone through this backwards and forwards. I've had multiple people read the Thai version. I've had multiple people read the English version with me. I've analyzed this stuff as much as I can. I'll be honest with you, it really is a little bit trying on one's patience because there's an element of vagueness on the really finer points of this that really make it difficult uh, to provide any foresight as to exactly how this is going to be implemented. I think that's probably purposeful. When you write regulations, you want to leave the regulatory authorities or the, the adjudicating officers, the line officers, if you will, some leeway to deal with things with respect to their discretion. But really salient points of this are vague, or at least I should say more vague than I would like them to be. And that's leading to some frustration in trying to analyze this. That being stated, specifically to the point of an OA visa issued, but used after October 31st, 2019, quoting directly from a translation of the recent orders that the, uh, the change the OA regime, its title permission for an alien who has been granted 
non-immigrant visa class O-A, not exceeding one year to temporarily stay in the kingdom. Quoting directly, an alien who has been granted non-immigrant visa class OA for single entry or multiple entry and enters the kingdom for the first time will be permitted to stay in the kingdom for a coverage period of health insurance for not exceeding one year. See, they specifically state coverage, health insurance coverage. An immigration officer shall check any remarks on a visa issued by an overseas Royal Thai Embassy for consideration and approval. Two, an alien who has been granted non-immigrant visa class OA for multiple entry and enters the kingdom from the second time onwards will be permitted to stay in the kingdom for the remaining coverage period of health insurance for not exceeding one year. So that really pertains to somebody re-entering the kingdom. An alien, uh, three, an alien who has been granted non-immigrant visa class OA for multiple entry, but the coverage period of health insurance has already expired, even if the visa is still valid, valid, will not be permitted to enter the kingdom. However, the said alien can buy a health insurance in Thailand in order to be permitted to enter the kingdom for a coverage period of health insurance for not exceeding one year. So I think that number three covers this specific question. I was issued before the 31st, I'm entering after the 31st, what do I do? Said alien can buy a, a health insurance in Thailand in order to be permitted to enter the kingdom for a coverage period of health insurance for not exceeding one year. What I can't figure from that is do they admit that person and then allow them to purchase coverage? Perhaps they go back and reinvestigate whether or not they went and actually purchased coverage. Difficult to know, but clearly that is a little more on point than some of this other stuff. Finally, number four, in case of the permission of stay in the kingdom exceeds the coverage period of health insurance, an immigration officer shall apply mutatis mutandis, the order of the Immigration Bureau, number 115 slash 2553, dated June 29, 2010, concerning the amendment of an immigration stamp in a passport and the order of an Immigration Bureau, number 79 slash 2557, dated April 1, 2014, concerning the guidelines in case of an alien's granted permission of stay in the kingdom is not meet a visa class or visa exemption. So what it sounds like to me is they will basically, <clears throat> they will basically go ahead and if you have insurance coverage for less than the year that you are looking forward to, that stamp will be granted for that coverage period only. So in conclusion with respect to this video and to that specific question, I've been issued my OA before the 31st, but I will be using it after the fact. I think the most prudent thing to do would be to go ahead and go online and get insurance coverage anyway, because failure to do so I think would probably, I, would, I think it would probably cause a high likelihood of possibly having problems with immigration at the time of entry to the Kingdom of Thailand. We hope you found this video insightful. For those of you who are interested, we're trying to make videos to provide up-to-date information as soon as this information comes out. And for that reason, it may be a good idea to go ahead and click the bell button, the bell icon below, to go ahead and be updated as these videos come out, as you can go ahead and be apprised of the legal situation as it evolves.